So welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you some decompression techniques for the lumbar spine. Now you can have a lot of pressure there, especially if you've got disherniations, herniations, disc bulges, or any impingement in the lumbar spine that can cause any pain in the lower back or down the legs. Or you have a loss of lumbar lordosis, so a loss of the lumbar curve in the lower back that is essential to support your lower back and upper body. So do these stretches, all you need is a bed and some pillows. So to start off this technique, all you need is a pillow and a bed. So get a pillow so you can place it on your pelvis when you lay onto the bed. And then shuffle so your arms and your shoulders and your head hang off the bed. This will make the upper body pull away from the lower body. So two opposing forces will then stretch your lower back out and create negative pressure in this area and reduce the pressure in your lower back. You may feel a slight stretch or a pull in the lower back. This should give you some relief in the lower back where the pain is that it's caused from excessive pressure, from a disc herniation, or any structures that could be impinging on pain sensitive structures in that area. When you first start off and there's a lot of pain in this area, just hold this position for about 30 seconds to a minute. And if it's tolerable, hold it for two to three minutes and keep repeating this hold until you've done it for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you still don't feel anything, add an extra pillow to increase the flexion in the lower back. This decompression technique will pull the upper body and the lower back away from each other, elongating the spine, which is completely opposite to what gravity does to our spine throughout the day. It's known to be able to help you with headaches as well if you have any tension in your neck and also alleviate any pain that could be caused by scoliosis as it could reduce any pressure that could be caused by gravity throughout the day. Please take deep and long breaths when you do this technique. By doing deep and long breaths, it's going to open and close the intervertebral discs in your spine. So it's going to act like an accordion where it sucks fluid in and out that disc and alleviate any pain in that area, increasing the height of discs, therefore giving you some cushioning when you stand back up again. Whilst you do the deep long breaths, I really want you to stay as relaxed as possible. If you find that the stretch is too painful, stop immediately because I don't want your muscles to spasm and cause you more pain. If you still feel like the decompression technique with two pillows is not helping, I really recommend you find a weight to allow you to hold on to so it pulls you further down and away from your lumbar spine, which is your lower back. Here I'm using a medicine ball, I place it on the ground and then allow the ball to pull my upper body away from my lower body. This increases the force that pulls my upper body away from my lower body. Once again, hold this position for about 30 seconds to a minute if it's too painful. And when you're comfortable, try to hold this position for about 2-3 to three minutes and work up to a total of 20-30 to 30 minutes. You don't have to use a medicine ball, you can use a weighted plate, you can use something else that's heavy as well. Could be a bag of potatoes, or you can use a bag of flour, or a bag of rice, depending what you have at home. As long as it's weight, so you can hold and pull your body away from your lower body. If you find that hanging your upper body off the bed isn't helping, I want you to try to hang your lower body off the bed. Remember, it's the same thing that applies. Put a pillow on your pelvis so you can lay on top of, so that can create some flexion in your lower back, and just lump your body over onto the bed. So gravity is gonna try to pull your legs down and away from the bed, and your upper body is gonna try to stay onto the bed. This is gonna create opposing forces and therefore reduce the pressure in your lower back and hopefully give you some back pain relief. And once again, just hold this position for about 30 seconds to a minute. And when you're comfortable, do two to three minute holds, working up to about 20 to 30 minutes in total. If you still feel like the decompression technique is not working, just get an extra pillow and lie on top of it. This will increase the flexion angle in your lower back and therefore creates more of a slump in your lower back and stretches your spine and your lower back and decompress it further. In my opinion, in this position, hanging my legs off the bed, I don't feel like there is much of a stretch or as aggressive as to hanging my upper body off the bed instead. So I rather hang my upper body off the bed instead to create more of a stretch and I feel like there is more of a stretch and it gives me more relief by hanging my upper body off the bed instead. However, it's quite subjective. Some people prefer hanging their legs off the bed or some people just like hanging the upper body off the bed. Either way, I really recommend trying this out to help you relieve any back pain. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope those decompression techniques and low back stretches helped you with your lower back pain. Now, if you wanna do more lower back stretches, check out my lower back stretch video. Or if you wanna prevent yourself from having injuries or strengthening your lower back, 
highly recommend you try out my lower back exercise video. Those two videos are gonna help you prevent yourself from getting low back pain and strengthen your back as well. I want you to also join my Facebook group. I'll put the link down in the description box below. Remember to support my channel, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one.